is again welcome welcome thanks for good morning thanks for thanks for being here today um it's going to be a little a little a little different program this morning uh i'm not trying we're not we're not trying to teach anything when i trying to take take notes trying to give you a sort of a a view into you know what you know kind of what we do this is more vloggish vloggish huh i'm sorry uh, she's correcting uh, she's correcting my English in the uh, or, or my typing in the uh, on on the Facebook. I never correct her typing uh, or her spelling ever, not once. I don't. Because I don't read. <laughs> Except you do, but that's okay. I'm sorry. Except you do. I had to say you opened the door. I had to say. <laughs> in any case, I'll correct I'll correct it later for those of you who are. Uh, or upset by it. Um, anyway, so this is again more vloggish than, any, than, than anything. Uh, this past weekend, um, Deb was out of town, uh, and you can tell people why you were out. Of, and you can tell people why you were out of town. Yes, I um, I, I had a family member of um, my cousin passed away, and um, they we had his homegoing service on Saturday, so. Um, we all, I went to Monticello. Hello, everyone out there from Monticello. Was happy to see everybody. Um, had a great time with family. It was, it, it was a bittersweet weekend because we were saying goodbye to, to one of my, um, he's actually a double cousin. Cause our, I'm not sure what double cousins are. Double cousins means that our dads were brothers and our moms were sisters. So we were we were cus double cousins. Double, double, double cousins. Sorry, Patty <laughs> Duke. Flashback. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> but um, so I left uh, Friday. Um, I took Friday off from work, and me and my uh, cousins that live down here. More cousins. We. <laughs> I have a large family. Cousins everywhere. And, and I have a lot of you all on Facebook that were, that were, were happy to see me home and um, saw some old friends and old family members. And uh, it was just a great old home week. Um, like I said, it was, it was both bittersweet because, you know, to see everybody and all my bro my bro both my brothers and my sister we all were together as you may see a picture on fa pictures on facebook but it's rare that we are all in the same place at, in the same city at one time and it was like a a great um family reunion uh for us and mm -hmm. uh with cousins and everything friday night we had a fish fry and then Saturday was the the home going service, and and then of course you have a repast after that, and all uh, get together and everything. And then on um, Saturday evening, um, me and my my brothers and my sister we had a gathering at um, his home, at my brother Gary's home in Monticello. So and it was just a a great time of fam family time, but. Um, at, along with being a sad time. Hello, my there's my brother Gary out there. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Thank brother you for Mom. your hospitality this weekend. It was very nice. I enjoyed myself, and thank Priscilla especially. Yes, I was. I was, and I and I was here. Hey, Brandy, <laughs> I was here, um, and, and 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 I chose to be here because sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. When I go, I end up being part of the deal and part of the. Not that I don't feel like family all the time because I do. Uh, yeah, he was the only spouse that was. But there. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Um, I chose to stay home, and uh, so a lot of this, a lot of this, uh, what I'm going to talk about today is is my own is my own fault, really. Um, because I invited him, I did not ask him to stay at home. That's very true. I we had, all invited you. I had I had more than enough opportunity to decide, and my schedule isn't such. Such on on Sunday at this point where or even on Saturday that I, I couldn't have just gone. Um, however, I chose to stay home uh, because I wanted because I I really wanted Deb to connect you know what to reconnect with her brothers and sisters and and all the family and stuff and I, and I, I I didn't I don't want to feel like a third wheel or a fifth wheel 
uh, that somebody had that, that somebody had to worry about me. Am I okay? And blah blah blah. You know, a bit, well, well, everybody else knows each other, and I'm just like, all right. I've, I've done that. It's okay. I've done it before. Um, so I decided that that Deb should just go because she was going with her cousins, and that was fine. Um, I don't know if I want to ride up. I like them, but I don't know if I want to ride up with them. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But it was cool. As it turned out, it was fun. Um, and so, so Deb had a great time um, under uh, under under sad circumstances, obviously, but a great time. Um, so I stayed here, knowing full well that you guys know who who watch or who know us. We've been married thirty years, be thirty one years in December. Um, and that when, frankly, when she's not here, I don't really do all that well. And plus, I wasn't able to, it was kind of a last minute decision, so I wasn't able to prepare meals for them. Um, I did, hadn't done any grocery shopping, so I gave him money to do the grocery shopping. And I did. And, and he did. And, uh, <laughs> so... It, I was a little nervous leaving them here. Uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't like she was going to come back and the house would be burned down. Oh. Uh, when you come back and there'd be like chickens running around the house and, and what happened here? I don't know. It was it it, it it's not like that. Um, but and and for me it, it isn't so much um, that I couldn't manage to find or make something to eat that I was going to be prostrate on the floor there at the door <laughs> going where. Where have you been? I'm so I'm so hungry. Oh, and I pooped myself. No, it's, 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 it it wasn't it wasn't going to be like that. Wow. Uh, it just wasn't going to be like I that. I can't believe you said that. I said that out loud because you know what? I don't care. Uh, Y'all don't know what? I don't care. Um, but it wasn't going it wasn't going to be like that. And it's it's more that there is this feeling for me anyway of uneasiness. Hey, hey, Tammy. Uh, of un uh, of uneasiness. I just don't do well. Uh, my sleeping patterns go crazy. Either I sleep too much, or I sit in front of this stupid machine that we're sitting in front of now. You know, until four in the morning, and that makes it hard. I normally to. say, "Let's go to bed." You know, it, it's so everything sort of gets sideways. I just don't do well, and I and, and and my question is, I don't think I, I don't think I'm the only one like that. Uh, so, so my question um, to those of you who are watching, do you or your husband have, you know, when, when because there was a time that I was kind of away, I, I, I'm not talking about when I was sick. Enjoyed seeing see, you too, see, Rhonda. See, 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 Brandy? My <laughs> husband will stay up later if I'm not home too. Mm -hmm. See? Because we just don't do well. See, Brandy, that's why I'm excited for you because you guys are on, because obviously you're on the right track. Because he's not supposed to do well if you're not there. Because you're one. Because you, he's not supposed. He's it, 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 it's like missing something. Something big is missing, so he just stays up. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because he doesn't know what else to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And, and 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 a lot of people get this wrong. They think they've been married for a while that. You don't miss each other, but you but you do, yeah. and I and I and you know what? And I'm a I'm 58. I'm a big boy. Uh, yes, I I can again. I can take care of myself. I can I can still take myself to the bathroom, and I can still cook, and you know what? I can get something to eat or whatever. Um, and the kitchen was clean when I got it in. was. So you know, there's some stuff I I can, I can still do. I can still, I, and the refrigerator had food in it. Yes, because I had actually gone to the grocery store. I went to the Winn Dixie. And I took the cart and I walked around and I made I made a list and everything and I got everything on the list. Um, I didn't put peanut butter and jelly on the list, so I didn't get it because <laughs> that's how I operate. I didn't get it because I didn't put it. Down. I didn't write it down. But you know, it's it, it's just like this is this is weird uneasiness that something really important in your life is missing. Something really important, someone really important in, is your life in your life is missing. And you just, I don't know, I just, I just seemed, uns I just seemed unsettled, you know, yeah. I went to church, you know, on Sunday, got, I got up, you know, got a shower, got myself, got myself dressed, because I can dress myself, <laughs> they better have grand animals for old people. <laughs> 
for husbands. Oh, today. let's see. Uh, I need a gira- I need a giraffe pants. Are there any clean giraffe pants? Oh, giraffe, giraffe. Uh, anybody, anybody else remember Grandma? I think that's a gr- I think that's a great thing, and they should they should have them for the fashion challenge too. <laughs> Somebody, Ralph Lauren or Tommy Hilfiger, should come up with um, Grandmas for adults. And um, anyway, got myself dressed, and, and and Alex and I went to church, and um, and then we had and then we got lunch on the way home. Um, I mean, the normal things that we kind of, kind of, kind of, no, kind of the normal things. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you when I, I when I heard from from Deb that she was going to be home about the time that we leave for church, uh, I asked, "Do you want me to stay?" Yes, you do. I would stay. I would stay right here. Uh, but she said no, going to church. So uh, we did, and it just so happened that she, that, that, that they as they were walking out as the we were, door, as we were going I to the car. He got exactly so. But you know what? I don't know, and I, and 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 again, thanks, Brandy. Uh, I want to know, really, how many husbands who are watching, or 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 like Brandy already offered um, her her opinion here on Facebook. How many husbands don't do well when your wife isn't home? Now, it isn't like again, it isn't like the old days where you're going to come. Well, I, actually, I never did this. Come home and. And, and you've had all your buddies over and you had poker party for three days and you know what, and there was crap everywhere because frankly, none of y'all do that. None of y'all. But frankly, everybody needs a little break, a little time away sometime, but it is not fun. It's not fun for the sp- wife either. I didn't, I missed you because you, you during the times when I had my alone time, you know, that would be normally when we are together and stuff so I um, I had a little trouble falling asleep when you don't have somebody next to you and all that so it, it, it was it was tough on me too I missed you hard thank you it, it, it's just it's just hard um, after all you know what after all this time um, it, it isn't just that you get used to it uh, but like Debbie said earlier on you know what the your spouse becomes a part of you, and that when that part isn't mm-hmm. isn't close to you, it's tough. Even when I, even the, the times that I got that, that I, you know, in the past few years, I've gotten to travel. Um, it isn't like when I go to D.C. It's like, oh, this is great, I'm having a ball. Well, in ways, I, I'm. It's like it, it's like you, you know what? Sweet. When you're having, when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing when you're there, yeah, that you know, that, it, it, it was very cool. When I went went to right online and stayed at. At the market, uh, the uh, Marriott Marquis in in DC, you know, and I, I got to see all, you know, all my political friends. It was cool, uh, but yeah, but you're right. You know, when it was time to go to dinner, or when it's time to go to, you know, back to the hotel room, to get some sleep. You know, you sort of walk around that little space like, hmm, what now? And you get in that bed, and it's not your, first of all, it's not your bed. You get in that yeah, in that bed, and you're by yourself. Uh, it takes a while to get to sleep, and, and, and I don't think that my sleep is really all that restful, which is why I stay, I stay tired the whole time, because I, I don't think my sleep is all that restful. Um, yeah, yeah, so it is, it is tough, and, 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 and again, if, and, and if you, you, you folks on, on, on Facebook, because we're doing Facebook at the same time, actually we're, we're recording or Facebook at the same time. So YouTube. if you if you're watching YouTube, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're doing Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Not live, although we could. We could do live Facebook. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll try that. No, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I would have trouble getting my phone to work this morning to start with. So doing doing both is like you know maybe maybe that's too much. But you know what? So you guys comment down. Uh, down here, if, um, if if your husband or you have a similar problem, now I know that a lot of people who have spouses that travel for work, mm-hmm. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, it can be hard. I don't know. But they probably focus on their what do you, they're doing more. Do you get used and to then it? I guess you get you get used to it and then now we have FaceTime which is not like the same person being like the person being there but at least you can see their face and talk to them and see how they look and everything like that uh, you get used to it yeah 
Um, Brandy writes in the um, in the Facebook chat. Facebook, I got that right. Facebook chat. Um, there's a certain amount of alone time that's needed, but uh, when I've had enough, <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, now what do I do when my husband's not here to talk to, or or don't want to be around anybody else, really? Yeah, you know, it you know, it isn't like I couldn't you know communicate with other people. It isn't like I'm such a horrible person. I don't have any other friends because I do. I guess I could have called Ted, or I could have called Danny, or somebody. Um, I could you have. You were with your friend Saturday on the show, and stuff. Yeah, and I did, t and we did something Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know what? After the show and everything. But I said I kept kept saying I gotta go. I gotta go shopping. <laughs> I did. I was like, and you were looking at me like, what's wrong with you? I have to go shopping. I got to go to Win Dixie. How long is this gonna take? I gotta go. Uh, so I did. Eddie bought me lunch, so I didn't have to pay for lunch. Eddie bought me lunch. Okay. I was wondering what you ate. It wasn't what hurt my foot, but Eddie did buy me lunch at um at at the Chinese buffet, and it was all right. Chinese buffet, you know. I had to come. I had to come right home, though. I tell you what, you know what I'm saying. But I had to come right home, uh, and then I had to go shopping. Uh, but uh, it, it, so I, I, I did have interaction with other people. It wasn't like I was, I was moping. I wasn't a recluse. I wasn't <laughs> sitting here, no, in my blanket, going, "Oh my God, one more two, one more two. No, it wasn't quite like that. But there is, like I, like I keep saying, there, there was an uneasiness to it. I just don't do well. I just don't. Um, and I, th and, I, and, I, and I, and I, and I think that you know, you shouldn't. Yeah. I'm really of the mind you shouldn't. You know, um, a few weeks ago, a few months ago now, um, my our pastor's uh, wife was out of town for all sorts of all sorts of reasons. She was on a, on a road trip with her daughter to celebrate her graduation from college. And and you know who else doesn't do well when Marissa's up there? My pastor doesn't. He doesn't do well. Yes, he he takes care of himself. He can feed himself. Um, he can do laundry. He can do all the stuff. All the regular stuff, but he just doesn't do well. You can tell, you can see it on him. He just there's this uneasiness about him um, when um, his wife isn't there, uh, because it's, it's it's funny. Like I asked Alex, I told you this last night. I, I asked Alex, is it this quiet in the house when I'm not here? Like when I go somewhere, is it this quiet in the house? And of course, he gave me the standard Alex answer. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thanks, son. Thanks so much for your um, for your input. We really appreciate your salient input. Uh, it was like I don't know. I'm like, wow. Well, it just seems quiet. Now that Debbie talks all the time, it just I think it was just You're saying I'm loud. No, I'm not saying I talk a lot. No, well, you do, but <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that that's it so much. There's a. There is a um, a spirit missing, yeah. And I think that that was it. That was the discomfort. There was a spirit missing um, that I used to and I like and I and, and and I like to be around and I like to be around me. Um, so that was really, I think, the the quietness. Um, because it isn't like this is a loud house. No. It really is, and and it never has been. Really, we're not. We're we're not loud people. We we, we we may be folks who talk a lot, but we're not loud people. Uh, and you know what? So there isn't and there isn't a bunch of banging around and and, and noise making in the house. It's just it's not it's, you know it's just never been that kind of household. We've we've always been fairly quiet folks. We are quote we are quiet folks. <laughs> we are from the land of quiet, where it's shh, turn that TV down. I think also what I missed was um, kind of that when, even when I was with the, all the family and the people and, you know, we are all sitting having conversation and different things like that, I missed your humor that you would bring and inside jokes that you have, you know, when people, somebody says something and you, and you, you had been talking about that before and, you know, they're going to do this and they're going to, and you know, you know, your family and you know what, this, what's going to go on and stuff. And you, you both have that inside joke going on. So I, I, I think I've missed that too as well. 
Yeah, you know what? And 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 again, I love her family. Her family is really my family because I cause, because I have I have you know I don't I don't really have much family left really, um, and especially family that we that I visit. Uh, I don't have any. I don't really have any family that I visit. I have enough family for you. You do. You <laughs> you certainly do. Um, so so you know, and being an only child, I don't have any siblings. I have a um, a stepsister, but she lives in New Jersey. And Linda is let's see, I'm 58. She's 67. She turned 67 this January. Um, so and we haven't seen each other in more than tw- more than 25 years, easily more than 25 years. So it isn't like I have a lot of close family. So her family has become my, I mean, I, not just the in-law part has become my real family, so. Um, and they missed you. Well, I'm, I, I'm glad. That makes me feel good. That makes me feel good. So it, it, it's. That it, was the first thing out of everyone's mind. Where's Willie? Where's Willie? And see, also that's my. Kind of, kind of, that's what I didn't want, though. I wanted them to concentrate on you. <laughs> well, they missed you. Well, that's nice. What are you going to say? My my aunt Louise asked about you and and how you were doing physically. Oh, your aunt Louise. Know, oh, because she just had a heart. Oh, she just, she just she had her uh, yeah. Pacemaker. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Far, as far as far as that goes, I'm so, good. So say hello to her. Hello, I'm good. Louise. Hello, aunt Louise. I'm good. I I I I got my little scar. I see and, and you know and I'm thankful every day because the scar reminds me. You know, I was talking about, we were talking, kind of talking about that at church. I got, I got to speak last night. Ask, Pastor asked me to speak last night at church. Um, and I did for a little bit. And it's the, you know, when I, I thought about it, you know, what brings to your remember, you know, what bringing to your remembrance what God has done for you. And I think that the benefit of the scar, the benefit of the scar is that it's a constant reminder of where you were, you know, and what God has brought you through. Br- brought you through. It's, I mean, so it's, so every morning, it's, it's it's almost impossible just to forget. Hey, Carl, uh, it's almost possible impossible to forget because you see it all the time. Yeah. And if you and, and if you scratch, you feel it all the time. So it's almost impossible to just forget. You know, when things get hard or things get di- things get difficult or or frustrating. Um, so no, always I'm doing good. That's a good reminder that because I have a few scars from different surgeries and biopsies and all that stuff like that, and I thank you for saying that because I sometimes I look at them and I'm like, oh, you get I get upset, but I I it, need it, to look at it. It, it as, can bring all the negative feeling back. Yes, you know it can bring this. You know what if if I feel that you know the top of that scar, it can bring all the. All the frightening stuff, all the horribly scary stuff that went on during that, that, time, back. During that time. But you know what? It's also a reminder um, that if I can re- reach out and grab that scar right now, that's the positive part. That's the good part that I can do that, and there isn't any discomfort. There's no pain. Uh, my my my, you know, my 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 breastbone finally healed. It took about a year, and it took about a year for your uh, your breastbone to heal again to where you didn't feel it. Um, but um, it is a it, it is a constant reminder. It brings back to your remembrance what God's already done for you. So when you have little challenges, oh, my, you know my 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 um, my shopping list was taking it taking a dive here. But it uh, that's a good statement to if if for those of you who have been through um, surgery something traumatic things, like that. something traumatic and you and. That's a sign. That's a scar of, of prayers answered. Take yeah. your scar as uh, as that. That's a prayer answer. Uh, God may help you to make it through. So. So don't you know? You know, I, 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 a lot of people worry about the scar. I'm like, no, I'm. I, I'm not, not. I'll take the scar. I'll take the scar and keep rolling. And healthy. Yeah. So that's. So again, I know, I know that was a. Um, that was, that, was a, that was a rabbit trail, but you mentioned, yeah, we hopped out the rabbit trail. But you remember that? But you mentioned that Aunt Louise had um, yeah had um, some some recent surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, I'm fine. Thank you so thank you so much for caring. Thank you thank you for for you know for asking. But um, all that got brought back when we were talking about that at church last night. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing I wanted to shout out to my uncles, uh, my uncle Richard. 
and my uncle William, who's uh, Louise's husband. Those, those are my two uncles that are still going strong and they look so wonderful. I was so happy to see them. Um, they're the only two left in the crew of my, my, the, my family uh, on my dad's side because my dad had six, there were six of them, six boys that my grandmother raised. And, um, and last, well, last year we lost my uncle Charles, who was the youngest of that, and then um, the other, and then my uncle Virgil, who was the father of my cousin, who passed, and we celebrated this weekend. And then we have my uncle Be Beatrice, who was from Sanford, and I got to see a lot of my cousin, a lot of his kids this weekend. And there are thousands of them. <laughs> there are a lot of the, the Sanford crew. Hello out there, Randy <laughs> and Linda <laughs> and Arlita. You all are on Facebook. But uh, there's a lot. I have a big family because there were six brothers, and they all had a kid, you know, a, a good amount of kids. Um, and my cousins that we, I rode with, there we're first cousins, and I'm, Uncle Richard is their father. So, and all of you that are in Monticello and know the Scott family, you know that we were, were a big family. So, and we're still going strong. You know, we have generations and generations out there. There are. So that's you know that, that that's exciting that 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 when you can have this that legacy that continues. Um, I, I got the privilege of designing the um, the family reunion T-shirt um, for the pa for the family reunion that was was it last year last year, last year. Uh, and Deb just had you just had some surgery so we didn't go mm -hmm. um, but people and, and I and I still wear my I still I, I still wear my Scott family reunion T-shirt all the time it's in my stuff to wear so I always so it's not it's not in my special stuff it's in my stuff that I normally wear. And people look in and, and they ask, what's, what's all of it mean? So I'm glad that I know what any of it means, that um, at the trunk of the tree, it's got Alex and Randy in it, and then the six names on, you know, the six names on either side of the tree are those branches that my wife came from. So, the, so, the, so that is really, really important to me. Family. Uh, that family is important to me because that family brought me Debbie. So they, I mean... If, if if they have done nothing else, you know what in their history they brought me my wife. So they're 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 all really they're all really important to me. So I appreciate so I appreciate them. Um, and um, it won't be long again before I make that trek up the up seventy five to see y'all. Wasn't avoiding y'all, um, but I but I thought it was time that you know Deb you know was, was able to re reunite with her brothers and sisters. Her brother from um, Rochester came down um, with his wife and. Um, been, again, it's been a long time since they, since the four of them have been in the same town. Um, so I thought, I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> Angela Barrington wrote um, like a, a sausage links, no, diced tomato, a, garlic. Is that a recipe for something? That's a hack. Well, what? That's somebody trolling us? Mm -hmm. Nobody's trolling us. Nobody's got nobody. Nobody's got time to, to troll us. Really, seriously. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's got time to troll us. If if you got time to troll me, <laughs> your life is so sad. You are so sad. Uh, but any but but in any case, um, so 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 you know what? Again, if you have trouble, uh, if your husband or your or your spouse will have trouble when your spouse is away, um, I, w I want you to do something for me. I want you to comment in the comment area, please, um, how you deal with it. Um, and if you and, and if you're dealing with it well, and um, if you're if your wife, does your husband have trouble? Um, does he do well when you're not around? When you're off for a couple? When you're away for a couple days visiting family or or, or whatever? Um, because I'd like to you know I I like to gather some of that information um, and do maybe an all guy video to um, sort of talk about this kind of stuff because I, because I think it's important especially for people who've been married for a while. Um, I saw, uh, as I was preparing uh, this Facebook video where this guy in Rochester, strangely enough, he's 99. He walks to see his, his wife, and they've been married for 50 plus years, um, and unfortunately she got diagnosed with a brain, 
with a brain tumor nine years ago, so she's in hospital and ICU. He walks three miles there in the rain or the snow, you know, or, or sunshine or heat or whatever, every single day to see uh, what he calls uh, the best cup of tea he ever had. It's very, very touching. It's sweet. It is sweet. Um, so, you know, th those kind of things, you know, those kind of things matter to guys. I think, is, is, I think what happens is it doesn't seem like men get credit for the emotions that they have. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess, you know, of being alone in this, in, you know, what, in this environment sort of is it, 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 emotional to me, That's which is why I don't do well. You think? Maybe possible? It's possible. I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Um, so that's really what it, what it's really all about. All right. I mean, it's, it's 935. we got to get out of here. Because yes. we've got to get you to work. And yeah. I need to get back it. to reality. Well, this, well, and no, it's always reality. This, <laughs> all of it's reality. Uh, we're all living in a fantasy world. we got to get back to whatever we're doing. Um, and I need to get over and drop those checks off, right? All right, I will do that. Anyway, so listen, do do us a solid. Go to our YouTube channel. See, I got it right this time. Thank you. Thank you. I got it right this time. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. We're at 50 subscribers. We're trying to get to 100. That's our next milestone. Um, thank you if you've already subscribed. Thank you. No, you can't subscribe again. They won't let you. Because if you click it again, you're going to unsubscribe. Yeah, exactly. We'll go backwards. So don't unsubscribe. No. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, go to our YouTube channel. Um, you can you go you go to YouTube. You can search for Deborah Lawson, or you can search for Real Talk with Devin Will, um, and you and, and and it'll pop up. And then you can click the big red subscribe button and watch a few and watch a few of these videos. Uh, and then like, share them with your friends. Share this one with your friends. If you've got if if you're watching and your husband is kind of like me. Share it with him so it ends up in his email box. <laughs> Let him know that he's not by himself, that he's not some freak, that he's not weak. Uh, it's just that he loves his, his wife so much um, that he doesn't like it when she's not there. And I think that's what it amounts to. Yeah. Even though it was okay that you, that, that you weren't, and you were away for a good thing, and I want you to do that, but I don't necessarily like it. That's all. That's all it is. All right, we got to get out of here, make room for somebody else. And so until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We will see you when love we see you. you. Peace. Peace. We're out. I had two buttons to click. Oh, that one worked. And that one.